Thank you for helping us create a safe environment by practicing social distancing while shopping or standing in line. While our fitting rooms are temporarily closed for your safety, please make use of our hassle-free 28-day <laughs> Polish just decided that it was gonna scrunch, so I had to repaint it. Look, look how I'm walking now. I had to make shorts out of my long trousers. Oh my god, it's just lucky nobody's seeing me. It's fine, I'm just going to the station. So practical, but make it fashion because that's literally what's happening right now. Um, I have to wait for it to dry. Also, it's hot, but it's cold at the same time. How can it be hot and cold at the same time? Does that make sense? only England and here's the train it's completely empty so so far so good So I am in Topshop at the moment and I've got all, all of this, all of this and their changing rooms are not open at all. So I have to find my way to personal shopping over here and see if somebody will let me in to try it on because otherwise you have to buy all the clothes to find out if you want to keep them. And there's no one at personal shopping. So what am I supposed to do? How are you supposed to go shopping? You just might as well just buy everything online. I'm just gonna dump all this shit in a minute because obviously they don't want money. <laughs> I'm not buying hundreds of clothes just so that it doesn't fit. It's not happening. Okay, so I'm in H&M now and we still can't try on any of the clothes. So I don't see the point in coming out to shop. Boris is trying to encourage us to come out to shop, come out to eat, but you can't. And literally, Topshop has said to me that if you try on the clothes in store, they put it in quarantine for three weeks. Even though it's not skin to skin contact, it still has bodily contact with you, so you can't try it on. But you can take it home, try it on, and then send it back. <laughs> What's the point of that? I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian pattern is hard to be. I quite like this bag, but it reminds me of the Dior bags, the Christian Dior bags, so I feel like it's just a rip of that. But it would be a nice laptop bag or something, you know, if you're wanting to work in a cafe or something, and I really don't have one of those at the moment. Thank you for helping us create a safe environment by practicing social distancing while shopping or standing in line. While our fitting rooms are temporarily closed for your safety, please make use of our hassle-free 28-day returns policy. I think I'm getting this hat. I quite like this hat. It says autumn to me, so I'm gonna get this hat. It's so weird that you guys can't see my freaking face. Got some earrings. Honestly, I'm so irked by the whole experience. I'm not shopping anymore. I'm just gonna show you guys what the stores have and then you guys can come in and decide whether or not you'd wanna shop for yourself. I feel like H&M are really doing me right now with all the cream colors. I mean, look how I'm dressed. Look at the colors. So I do feel like H&M stuff is really, really nice for awesome. We might not have anywhere to go in the outfit, but we'll definitely look good at home. <laughs> okay, so I've left fashion and I am in H&M home right now and I am in love. In freaking love. Look at this. I feel like I have an obsession with cushions and I have an obsession with the mustard yellow and I'm trying to get rid of that colour in the house right now so I don't know why I'm even looking at it but those cushions would look so freaking good on my bar stools oh my god so they've got this colour but I'm just I'm not keen on it 
Oh my gosh, I didn't see this before and they literally have it in cream. I think I'm gonna get about four of these for the cushions, for the bar stools because they are lush. So I'm finally in a store where I can try something on. Massimo Duty is letting their customers try on things. Thank God, because otherwise like my day would just be, oh my God. <laughs> I walked into Massimo Duty and I, I just, I wasn't even going to Massimo Duty, I was going to Zara and I walked past and I saw this in the window and I almost died. It's so pretty. Oh, it's just my kind of coat. I'm, I'm waiting for it to try it on. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm excited. I'm so grateful and thankful that they're allowing people to try on coats because I wouldn't be able to buy it and then bring it back. It's just too much effort. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. We got one. Oh my God. We're heading to one of my favorite, favorite stores. It's got to be, it's got to be Zara, hasn't it? It really has. So, we're headed to Zara. Zara, darling. Look, Zara has their own version of the white coat. In all honesty though, I will say that this white coat does not feel as good as this one. It, it doesn't compare, it's not the same. So you've got to pick and choose your quality. But it is cheaper though, so that's good. I always struggle with Zara because their clothes never fit me properly. Like everybody's on the leather trench and the leather coats. What's going on? That's the trend, that's the fashion. Leather dresses, leather coats, snake print. We're heading into Selfridges and there's a queue. Oh my god, this queue is so long. I've been standing in this queue forever. There's a queue outside, there's a queue inside, there's a queue at Louis Vuitton. There's a queue everywhere. I'm tired of queuing. <laughs> We've been in this line for almost 25 minutes now and people are starting to leave. I literally got a space because someone decided that they weren't waiting anymore. I finally made it to the front of the queue. Oh my God, yay. I'm still waiting for someone to serve me though. Okay, so I'm finally being seen and they're going to fix my bracelet for me because it's gone weird and, you know, the colors come off of it a bit on the sides here and here and there. Okay, I didn't intend to buy anything, but I can't help it. It's just, it just happens. Okay, beauties, here are all the bags. I didn't get too much stuff, but I'm still gonna show you guys what I got and how I'm gonna rock it. So, firstly, I'm wearing the trousers that I bought from H&M. Um, they're just normal slacks. There's nothing like super fancy about them. Quite loose and kind of like linen. It's very flattering on my body and I got a size 12. Hey, your girl's no longer a size 14. So that's cool, that's cute. But I basically, I got this to go from loungewear in the house to running out. So let's say for example, I'm in the house, I'm chilling, and all of a sudden I get a call being like, hey, you wanna come to Central London? I don't have to get changed. I'm already kind of dressed up, kind of looking good. So I can just bounce one out the door. And we are in September, so most of the stuff that I got is actually for autumn. But 
for some reason, England just decided, hey, let me be 30 degrees today in September. So it is really hot today and I had to close all the windows because somebody is drilling outside. So I'm boiling and everything I got is gonna be super, super warm on. <laughs> But it's just the nature of YouTube, right? So this is the next thing that I got. And it's just a slouchy cardigan looking thing. I'm really feeling like the creamy colors. For when it starts getting a little bit cooler, I'm really feeling the earth tones, the browns, the neutrals. Um, I don't feel like this needs to be worn with earrings, so I'm gonna take it off and set them aside for a second. But yeah, I wish this had pockets, but the trousers have pockets, so I guess I could wear it like that, but it would be really nice if it did have some pockets on there. So that's how I would wear that. And I also got a hat. I'm not very good with hats because they never ever stay on my head. I got the hat in a size large, Again, in neutral, earthy tones. So if I had to go somewhere, eh, I could wear it like this. This is kind of cute. Or, don't even need the jacket. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I got it. Rooney taught me a trick to do for hat work. Kind of pull it like this. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> No, I still, I haven't got it, but you get the picture, right? You get the gist. I absolutely love this coat, you guys. Oh my God, it's so, so beautiful. I did go overboard with the creams and the neutrals. This is a look and a half. I don't care what anyone says, I absolutely love it. Oh, yes. I can just imagine when autumn comes and I'm in my pastels and my creams because that's what I'm going for this autumn because I'm tired of dark blacks. Nah. Nope. I'm not having it. So creams, pastel, pinks, pastel, blues. <sighs> I am, I'm really gonna, I'm giving it all I've got. I'm really gonna, because we've been trapped. We've been trapped in the house. I don't care if I have to wear this in my kitchen. I'm gonna wear it. We might not have nowhere to go, but we're gonna look fly doing it. Oh my gosh, I can see this coat with all the cardigans and the turtlenecks. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Another way that this coat can be worn is literally the coat by itself with some boots, maybe the hat, and what I got from Louis Vuitton. So this was actually a birthday present from my mom. And she basically said, I can go in there, pick something I like, and she'll get it for me. And um, I chose a belt. I know, I know, but it's not any normal belt. I chose a belt because it's an accessory I need for my outfits. I have so many bags and I'm not going anywhere just yet, so I don't need bags. I haven't really seen any bags I like just yet, and autumn's coming, so I don't know what kind of bag I might want, but I only buy one designer bag, maybe two a year and maybe one on impulse or maybe like three <laughs> but um i chose this belt because i like the industrial kind of look but it's still very luxury it just adds something let me show you guys how i would style this now i don't know where i would go like this but i just kind of like this look it just kind of looks sexy <laughs> i'm joking i wouldn't wear it like this um although this does look very editorial though doesn't it like even if it didn't have both, you can even take one off and just wear one of these little pouches because you really don't need both. But I like the look of both. And on the hip, it just makes your hip stand out a little more. This is what the back looks like. And I'm wearing them with these boots. These boots have been old faithful for the longest. These boots, right? have been with me forever. They're older than my relationship. That's how old they are and they are still ticking. Just imagine how it would look if we stepped out and the boots came all the way up to here. And this was your dress. Now I'm really hot right now. 
because obviously it's meant to be for autumn winter and it's 30 degrees but I just wanted to show you guys the sass of it the audacity of this to be so sexy but so classy oh my gosh In the outfits that I bought I showed you guys comfy and loungy I showed you classy and sexy but what if you want to be sporty I got these high-waisted trousers they're uh, actually tracksuit bottoms I got them from H&M they are a size medium which is a 12 so they definitely look a lot more casual but still you still kind of look kind of look fly and if I wanted to dress it up a little bit I'll show you so there you go comfy casual sporty so you can put your keys in here you can put your cards in here lip gloss money obviously you can't fit your phone that's why you got pockets um, in here you could put I don't know coins Whatever little things, your, your earpods, anything that you want to be comfy casual with. And on here you can put keys or um, even like a chain thing and it can just slide right in your pocket like right there. So yeah, this is like comfy casual look. <laughs> I've got this hat in three or four different colors. Um, I didn't even know I could get it here. I bought them in Denmark. This one is, I bought it on the high street in Oxford Circus. And you can wear it like this, or you can expose some of your hair and put the palms at the back. It is really up to you. What you wanna do, boo? So yeah, these are some of the outfits that I got. You can even wear this with some Balenciaga trainers or just some trainers in general, some Yeezys. Um, my white Yeezys are downstairs. That would look really good with an all white outfit. Or you could wear some boots, some high heel boots. It will work. Whatever you want to wear it with, it will work. Mixing high street with designer is always a good show. I think that's all I got from here. Oh, and... Oh, the guy at Louboutin, he was so, so sweet. I mean, he was flirting a little bit as well, but he was so, so cute. And he gave me all these perfumes. Um, just, just these little, like, sample pots. Because I already have one I said that I liked, and I couldn't remember the name of it. And um, he just, out of the blue, when I was purchasing my belt, he just gave me these. I hope you enjoyed me taking you to the store. I used to do these kind of haul vloggy videos all the time, back in the day, if you're... Uh, OG to the channel then you already know this um, but I haven't done some in, in a long time so it was nice to get back out there and do that again let me know what you thought of what I got just a little just a little quick autumn haul thank you for watching guys bye <sighs> oh, it's hot it's so hot doing an autumn haul and it's 30 degrees outside god damn it Wait to wear this.